welcome to another studio vlog. So today is kind of exciting because I've got a couple of like new products to show you because the berry stickers have arrived so yeah I'm gonna show those to you and also I had an email saying that the new enamel pins are coming today hopefully fingers crossed. So these are there's the teacup that's got like a teacup and flowers there's the sinky teapot and then there's like a little cute sort of house pin as well so they should be coming today so hopefully we can unbox those together i had a text and they're gonna come between estimated for delivery 337 i'm not gonna see them between four yeah between 337 and 437 very specific i'm sorry I'll show you later. Oh, if I go here, you can see all the towels. Yeah, so I thought it would be fun to make this whole studio vlog kind of like a behind the scenes look at the process of launching some new products. So there's going to be like photography and sort of checking the stock and it's going to be studio vlog style. So still kind of casual, but like hopefully a little bit of like how to stuff as well. Um, but yeah, just a kind of behind the scenes look into how I launch new products. So yeah, first of all, let's um, have a look at these stickers and then I'll take some photos of them. So I thought I would take photos of the berry stickers outside, especially because they are berry stickers. And um, yeah, so I thought they'd look quite nice next to the blueberries. It was raining loads yesterday, but weather seems okay. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take photos and then I've got loads of blueberries to pick, so I will do that. Tammy's coming to help. <laughs> Hello, Tammy. It's a bit windy out here, isn't it? At least it's not raining. <laughs> what was that? these oh my goodness they're enormous okay so I've taken some photos outside and then I thought I'd take some inside as well and I've got one of my trusty photo boards here just to make it all pretty I did also try it on this background but I think because this has a white background I don't know if that's sort of showing up very well so I think I'm gonna stick to this one I might get some more plants involved because plants are always good. Might just get this plant that sits behind me. And it has very pretty leaves. I always like to take a lot of photos. So I'll take like some of it on its own. I quite like to sort of have my hands in the photo as well, just so that they get like a sense of scale. And I'll take like some where the stickers are off. So I'm like holding the stickers in Chibiji. Yeah, so I will show you what photos I come up with. I thought I'd use these pressed flowers that I've got. I got these from an Etsy seller called Cornish Meadow. And I keep them in these little things that they've come in. Yeah, they look really pretty. I used I used these ones when I did my floral cats. I think it kind of goes, even though these aren't berry flowers. I think it still kind of goes. Yeah, I should probably try and press some flowers sometime. Um, I guess I could just like have them squashed between a book. I think I need to like research it. But um, because I haven't really done it before, or I haven't done it in like since I was a kid, I couldn't remember what to do and this person was selling these on Etsy. So yeah, I thought I would get them and I thought they'd be like quite a nice like prop for when I do my photography. The pins have arrived, but I might just finish. I kind of really want to open them now. So I thought I'd just take a couple of photos with, cause I've stuck them on my sketchbook, just to give people an idea of what they look like on a sketchbook or something. Yeah, so I've got a couple more photos to take and then we can actually get in and have a look at the pins. I'm really, really excited. 
Okay, I'm just going to quickly have a look through and see what photos I ended up taking. I think I've taken quite a few. Half of these are upside down. But yeah, so I took quite a few outside with the blueberries. Yeah, I've got lots where I'm like holding the stickers. And then I've got some photos on like a black background. So you can see that they're white stickers. So... I think I've probably got enough photos. So I'm going to tidy this way and then we can look at the pins. Eee. Okay, time to open this box. I assume that, because I've got three pins that I've ordered, so I assume that this is all three of the pins. Oh, do you want to have a look inside? Whoop. Oh. Okay, ooh. Okay, I think this is actually all three of the pins. So I've got the houses and I'll open these up and show you properly the teapots and then the teacups as well so yeah let's open these and then we can see what they look like oh my goodness it come out absolutely gorgeous oh it looks really nice yes yeah, so this is my sneaky teapot I think it's so so cute I actually made like a clay version of him this was a while ago, but then I kind of realised that it would be like a little bit tricky to, because I mean he took ages just making like one of him. And as you can see I've like sort of changed the design a little bit. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I think, I think it's come out so well. I love like the gold and the blue together. Yeah, and so on the back he's got two pins. Yeah, and then I also recreated this it was like a little clay house that I did and I th yeah I think it's really cute but I j it's just a little bit kind of tricky I didn't think it would work out very well if I was going to actually make these because it takes a long time oh this is so adorable so this is rose gold and I've done screen printing on like so the green is screen printed I like the little bricks as well yeah so this is my little sleepy house I think it's really really sweet oh it looks lovely oh, I really like the size of this one as well this is based off an illustration that I did I'll like I'll put a little picture on the screen so you can see sort of where this came uh, where this idea came from but yes obviously I have like simplified this quite a lot but yeah I'm super happy with how this has come out uh, gold hard enamel and I've done it screen printing again and I think it looks so cute here are the three new designs I'm really really happy with them I need to design some backing cards so I think I might do that next and I might also design backing cards for the woodlands animals like the ones that were in the last studio vlog because I designed a whole load of pins. Yeah, because I designed some like kind of autumnal like woodland animal pins in scarves. Yeah, I just, I can't stop making pins <laughs> at the moment. So yeah, I might design the packing cards for those as well. So I'm going to, as usual, sketch some rough stuff on my iPad and then I'm going to do it with my coloured pencils. So what I did last time when I made the backing cards for the cat, I put the pin like on, like this is actually like the back of a backing card, just to kind of work out the size. And then I took a photo of it and sketched some stuff out on the iPad. So I think I'm going to do that. I thought I might do the same design for the teapot and for the teacup. So like they're kind of like a pair and maybe I'll call them like whimsical tea pins something like that yeah and then i'll do like a separate backing card design for the house yeah maybe like some clouds or something for the house might look quite nice so i'm thinking what might look really cute on this is if i do kind of like a doily pattern yeah so maybe about that big maybe a bit bigger so i have the doily probably do little stars and stuff and then have some text here so important. Document.
documenting this on social media like Instagram. I really like how simple I made these backing cards and I really love like the white that I had on there as well. And I'm kind of wondering if I could still have like a white backing card but maybe for the grass just do like little dashes if you know what I mean like kind of draw the individual blades of grass but don't have the whole thing green like have it white behind I don't know if that will look good or rubbish <laughs> but yeah because I just I really like the white and I kind of want these to look similar also, I don't know if when you take the pin away, if it will look a bit strange to have this random path. And I want to have stars on everything. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought I would do the forest animal backing cards as well. And obviously I don't have them yet. So I just thought I would kind of roughly guess the sort of size that I'm gonna do. And I thought basically what I want to do for this one is to just draw lots of leaves so I think what I might do is have like a sort of section like around here that's going to be like a big pile of leaves yes yeah, so I'll do leaves all over there and then maybe just like a couple of random leaves down here add some stars etc etc and the text up there and then yeah I think that'll look good. Okay, so I have done sketches on my iPad and I have printed them out so that I can use the light box. This is gonna be obviously bigger than the thing. I'm drawing it slightly bigger, but yeah. So we're gonna have that for like the T. So they're both gonna be on the same backing card. So I've got, so I've got my sketches and I'm gonna use my color pencils, but actually, right now i'm gonna have some dinner good morning it is wednesday now it's not actually morning it's <laughs> it's afternoon but this is what i've been doing uh, i did this yesterday and it was kind of dark so you wouldn't really have been able to see anything i actually started this one before so this is going to be the house um and the, yeah the house is going to go there and obviously this is going to be shrunk down so i started with these colors but i thought these colors might go a bit more um because it's rose gold i thought if i have kind of like orangey colors that would sort of work better um and also i've got like a sort of dark green on the pin so i thought having dark green bushes would look better and then the other one I've been doing is this one for the forest animal pins. Which, and then I haven't, I haven't actually started this one yet. But this one is going to be for the tea and I'm going to have the same design for both. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be getting on with today. Monday. Monday is one of the days that I pack Etsy orders so I thought I'd film a bit of that because everybody seems to love packing order footage. Yes yeah, so I pack orders on Monday and Thursday and Mondays I've also started doing like little bits of sort of admin stuff but yeah I don't think I'm going to film the admin because I don't think anybody really cares about that but I will film the Etsy packing so I've got my desk all sort of set up so yeah let's pack some orders. I'm packing up these Christmas cards for Laura. So hi Laura if you're watching. Yeah, Laura's ordered three packs of Christmas cards. So these are the Christmas cards in case you were wondering what they looked like. I do sets of five of these woodland animals. I don't think I have many sets actually left. Yeah, I don't know if I should order any more. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in Christmas cards. Thank you. 
the other thing I wanted to say is the cat stickers have been really popular on Etsy at the moment and I actually got my first like bestseller badge on Etsy for the cat stickers so yeah thank you if you've ordered anything on my Etsy shop or even if you've just like liked it because that yeah that all really helps also I am running out of these made with love stickers I've got some more stickers that I have ordered which are actually a different design but yeah I'll keep it a secret until I've used those ones up and then I'll show you um the other thing I want to do which I think I might do in the next studio vlog is I want to design and make like a stamp yeah I want to make like a stamp to go on the packages so yeah I think I will make that in the next studio book so the backing cards have arrived I have had a sneaky little look already <laughs> but I thought I should turn the camera on and show you so so here's the whimsical tea pin uh, so this is going to be the backing card for both the sneaky teapot and also like the blooming teacup and then this is the sleepy house pin and then this is the woodland animal pin okay so here is the sleepy house pin so i think it wants to go about there oh it looks really sweet but yeah i thought i would test out a couple of these just see what it looks like and then we've got the tea pins oh that looks really sweet i really like that I really love having like the pencil illustrations for the backing cards. I just think they look really fun. Lastly, let's test out the blooming teacup. I think those two look really nice as a set. And yeah, I really like how they both look good on the backing cards. Yay. <laughs> yeah, so all I need to do now is put all the pins and all the backing cards. But yeah, I think I'm going to rope Tom into doing that. Um, and then I'm going to take photos one day this week and yeah, I'll show you how I do those. Good morning, it is Tuesday. I'm going to take some photos of the pins today and I've got my trusty photo boards. I think this one is my favourite at the moment. It's kind of like a rustic, would you call this shabby chic kind of wood stained? It's not stained, is it? Sort of like distressed wood. So I'm going to take some of that and then I might try some on the white ones. I've got this one, which is sort of like a um, very like ornate sort of white painted wood. Looks very kind of cozy. And then I've got this one, which is like a sort of white tile. I don't think that one's really going to go. I don't know. I might try it. I'll try out a bunch of things and see what works. I think I'm going to use the pressed flowers that I've got again because I think that will especially match the teacup that I've got. So I've actually just put the teacup down on this one which is like, I don't know if it's like a blackboard or like so it's just some dark metal but yeah I actually think it looks really nice. I obviously haven't set up a photo or anything. Um, I've also got these lovely fern leaves, which I don't think I've actually even opened yet. Um, I think they might look really nice with that. I think this is going to look really nice with the fern leaves. I'm actually really loving how this is looking on the dark background. I wasn't even planning on using this background, but I don't know. I think it kind of is giving me like a sort of witchy vibe. Yeah, sort of like a magical teacup or something. I think it goes really nicely with the ferns as well. I think I still, I'm still going to try it on all the other photo boards as well. Also, I think a lot of the backgrounds on my Etsy shop are white. White or either like that kind of like grey, like the grey sort of wood effect. I kind of want to see what it would look like with this teacup in the photo as well. But it is kind of massive, so I don't know if there's a way that I can have it like in the background. I'm kind of thinking that it's not gonna work, but I kind of want to try it. Or I don't know if I could have it in it. I mean, it kind of, it might look cool if it was, um, if it was in the tea, but obviously it would be heavy. <laughs> so that would just, that would just fall to the bottom. I think that's a stupid idea, isn't it? I don't know, maybe I could balance it. 
but does that just look like a bowl like how could I make sure because it only kind of looks like a teacup when it's like from the side so maybe if I do it that way around oh fiddly fiddly is this gonna look good or is this gonna look rubbish that might actually look quite good if I yeah maybe I should add some tea add some tea Try not to <laughs> drop the pin in the tea. And then put some other flowers and stuff around. Maybe flowers in the teacup as well. I've just been to the garden and I've got some tiny little flowers. That one's not that tiny, but well, that one's pretty tiny. And I have got, I have got two cups of tea. One for me to drink and then a pretty cup of tea to take photos of. So that was going to balance, it balances quite well actually. As you can see the sun is kind of in this patch here. But the good thing about photo boards is you can just kind of move things around. But yeah this is a similar sort of prop that I did when I actually did, I did an illustration of, um, of flowers in a teacup. And I did like a sort of similar setup to like take photos of it. And that's kind of what inspired the pin. So I thought I have to try the same sort of technique for the product photography. I don't know if that looks a bit weird with the tea bag in. So I'm really happy with how these photos are going and actually I really ended up loving the dark background but I might, whilst I have all the other photo boards here, I think I'm just going to swap it out and yeah, try some different colour backgrounds but I do think the dark works really well but you never know, something else might work even better so whilst I've got all of this stuff I'm just going to test it out. I think it definitely gives it a different vibe. It's a lot sort of like cleaner and crisper and also so far I haven't added as many flowers. But yeah, I think it's definitely a good idea to sort of take as many different photos as you can in one go. And then like you've got lots of different options and you can also like post multiple photos as well. Like gives you something to post like in a couple of weeks time or a month time. So I have taken, as you can see, <laughs> a lot of photos. I'm very, very snappy happy. And we're done. Now I just have to clear up all of this mess. <laughs> Hello, it is Thursday today. It's got this enormous thing to open, which I'm kind of excited about. And this is basically just a load of cardboard boxes, but I, I am actually really excited about it. So I'm gonna open that up. So I have basically bought a whole load of storage boxes. So yeah, these are going to be really useful when I have my new studio. But yeah, these are going to be really useful for storing my pins. Um, and maybe I'll put some other things in there as well. But yeah, so I'm going to try and put one of these together. This feels like a puzzle. <laughs> I mean, this is like, how does this work? So we have one box. And yeah, I'm going to put my pins in these. These are, I think they're called K-bins. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. The link to my Etsy shop will be in the description as always. And also I had a request from Amanda who her username is Mandela Bees. Um, she wanted a video all about kind of like a beginner's guide to making enamel pins. So yeah, that is what I have done. I've filmed that and that's gonna be going up next week.
next <laughs> I was trying to say next Wednesday and next week at the same time that kind of came out funny that is going to be up next Wednesday but yeah so I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one I'm sending you lots of love again as always and yeah I hope you have a lovely day I'll see you in the next video okay bye thank you for coming I know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile